Hello everyone and welcome back to more statistics at NutriBiomes. Today I will show you how to create a sunburst plot that looks similar to the two figures you see on the screen here. So let's go ahead and get started in R. You want to first load your Tidyverse library. I will be creating a data frame. If we visualize this, you'll see that there are three columns. The first is for the individual or species, and these are distributed across four different groups, A, B, C, D, each having a specific value. Now, I don't want to run this just yet, and I will show you why in a second. The code you see next this first line will create an ID column for us. So if I go back to my data frame, you'll see a new column, column number four with our ID values. And then I want to go ahead and create two new variables that would reflect the angle that you saw in that sunburst plot. So it would set the data to uh, distribute evenly across our values to reflect that angle that we saw. And similarly, we do see those two new variables listed here in our data frame. Now I want to go ahead and set the colors of the bars that I want to appear in my plot. And I got these colors online. You can search for any color or palette or theme that you that you like. So each color is now associated with our groups, our four four level group. This line I will save for later as well. So then if we go ahead and, and run this massive chunk of code here, you'll see the preliminary version of, of the sunburst plot appear. Now, if you recall, what I had shown you was an ordered uh, fashion in which the bars were presented in the final sunburst plot that I had. And this is actually that line that I had skipped earlier, that line of code. And I just wanted to show you how it would look like without it. And now I'll show you how it looks like if we do run this code before everything else. All right, and there you have it. It looks like now our data is shown in ascending order per group. All right, now what do we do if we want to add an image to the center here. We're going to use a couple of different libraries here. We're going to load these and I'm going to import a photo that I have already saved on my computer. So my photo is now imported and I can use the insert underscore element command to read this photo that we called world into our plot. All right, and there you have it. So this is the first version of the sunburst plot that I wanted to show you. Now, what do I do if I want to change the colors here? Again, I can go back To our line of code here and I can run the second selection of, of a color palette and that will read will be read into the plot through scale underscore fill underscore manual command. Now what I can do as well is I can remove the specification of not having a legend if we do want a legend and let's see how that looks like. And this is how it looks like with a legend and with a different color palette. 
And you can always play around with these numbers depending on what you want your how you want your margins to, to look like, etc. Okay, now I do have another world map similar to the one we had below, but it just matches the theme better. It's, it actually looks like this color right here and this theme um, I chose purposefully to help give that an overall uh, visual of everything coinciding and fitting together. So let's load that in. Similar commands to what we used before. And there you go. So now we've got two images with different color palettes, different figures that have been inserted on top of our sunburst plot. We've seen how to order our coordinations uh, in ascending order and how to have them at random as well. Now one final note I will mention is that once you go ahead and review this code, this looks like a lot. The main difference where you can have this type of ascension and polar coordinations is actually through this command right here. And what I encourage you to do is to try and, and look at what happens when you remove each line from this command and see how you like it best and what you want to do with it. All right, so that was it for today. I thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next one.